Hey ho, Flatsome Guy here, and today I'm going to give a brief lesson, uh, assuming if you're seeing this video it was successful, uh, on carrier landings. Alright, so I'm at LAX runway 24 right, pointed out to the Pacific Ocean, and with regards to carriers, um, there is a free add-on called AI Carriers, and you can go ahead and install that on your FSX uh, uh, installation. And there are two of them, by the way. There is a Java version and a .NET version. Now, the Java version, uh, that was written first, and it requires Java to be installed on the computer. And as we know, Java is not very secure, so you want to go with the .NET version. Once you go ahead and figure out how to get that installed, uh, just go ahead and hit the Shift-J to bring up the menu. And in this case, I want next page, next page. I want uh, Nimitz Crowded Deck Single Carrier, so hit 2, and in this case I'm going to put it 10 miles ahead. So as of this point, there is an aircraft carrier 10 miles out in front of me. I am in uh, Dino Catenio's T-45C Goshawk, Goshawk, and what this is, it's a Navy uh, trainer. Single engine, small little plane. And I'm going to use this and try and do some carrier traps. So let's go back into the cockpit. And I'm not going to bother with any fancy star startups. All I'm going to do is just uh, make sure my brakes is on. Hit Control e to start my engines. Get that going. Okay, there we go. Hit L for my lights. One notch flaps. And I think I should be ready to go. Actually, I need to set my trim. Uh, usually on these planes, the trim setting should be somewhere near the throttle. And I'm not seeing the trim. Oh, by the way, uh, I went ahead and did some upgrades to my sim install. I added FSX water config configurator to give some texture, give some texture to my water. And I also went ahead and tooled around with my OBS uh, video recorder. And it was initially recording at a thousand kilobits per second, which gave that crappy uh, video quality. Now it's at 6,500. So the video files are much bigger, but the quality is a lot better. And since I'm not streaming to Twitch or whatever, uh, this suits my purpose just fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Throttles up. Brakes off. Now this is a Goshawk, uh, Goshawk. It's a uh, training aircraft, aircraft, so... Top speed is a maybe 350 to 400 miles an hour, and uh, flying in the pattern is about maybe 135 to 150. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and try landing on some carriers. Okay, we'll pass the rotate speed, so we'll rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Flaps up. Now, as I said earlier, there is a carrier 10 miles directly in front of me, to the west. Um, where's my compass? There it is right there, 240. So let's go ahead and take it up to about 2,500 feet. Keep it at about 250 knots. And usually when I uh, try to do uh, carrier operations, I usually put a carrier battle group out. That way there are several ships, so that when you see one of the ships, you know you're in the zone. But in this case, it's 10 miles out, so all I need to do is just keep flying straight. And there's an aircraft going in. So I obviously took off on the wrong runway. Alright, let go off the stick. It's 
pointing down. There's my carrier. So let's go ahead and trim up a little bit. Come off the come off the gas. Now, when you're landing on a carrier, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do a close pass by. On the aircraft carrier, the quote unquote the deck that you're going to land on is off at an angle to the back of the carrier by about maybe 20 or 25 degrees or so. Let's see if we can take a look and see. There. You can see the quote unquote runway or the carrier deck that you're going to land on. It's a little bit off. So you got to remember when you're coming straight at the carrier, you have to be catty corner. So in this case, let's go ahead and turn to the left a little bit. And at this point, I'm approximately perpendicular or parallel, I should say. To the runway and that heading is exactly 240 so when you do uh, if you've uh, done any uh, normal uh, landings before what you do is you fly in a pattern which is uh, very much re rectangular in this case <coughs> your pattern approach is uh, it's gonna be oblique or somewhat uh, not a perfect square because you don't fly an upwind and a base what you do is just make a clean smooth 180 so let's go ahead and do that now so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a turn till my 240 or my 24 is directly at the bottom and what you want to do is keep your speed between 150 and 170 and keep your altitude between 500 and 800. In this case, I'm at 1500, which is too high. So I'm going to go ahead and come off the gas a little bit while I make the turn. And that will cause me to lose a little bit of altitude. Because when you're flying in a pattern, you want to stay between 500 and 800 feet. And at the same time, not fall out of the sky. Alright, so at this point, straighten up. There is a carrier right there, 163 at 900 feet, so I'm a little bit high. Let's come on down. So technically I'm flying downwind. Now what I want to do is, uh, if you have a timer, just give yourself some time. And time maybe one minute from this point. Okay, 600 feet, a little bit low. Let's come up, give it a little bit of gas. Okay, let's go this way a little bit. Because I want my 2.4 to be directly at the bottom of my HSI. Try and keep your altitude at about 800 feet. Now, the ship itself, from uh, the bottom where the water the water line is to the deck where you're gonna land that's maybe two to three hundred feet and that's good to know okay eleven hundred feet and in this case I want to make sure the carrier is way behind me if it helps go ahead and change your view to the outside and look around that might help okay fourteen hundred feet way too high but I'm gonna lose a lot of the altitude when I turn around so I'm gonna do a smooth 180 my speed go down uh, you gotta be careful the go shock the gas shock will stall on you and fall out of the sky so keep your speed of above 150 okay I'm at 900 that's good and there my 24 is almost at the top there it is right there now, this is not landing on a regular runway, so you will never be lined up. What you got to do is look for the lights. So at this point, I'm going to give it one notch flaps, shift Q to lower your tail hook, and then G, gear down. Okay, I'm a little bit off, so what I want to do is come to the right some more. And what you want to do is look for the lights on the carrier. Now, in this case, I'm not going to give you any advice on the lights because I'm colorblind. But you want to look for the lights. Okay, I think I'm way, way off here. 400. Too slow. And I'm coming in at the wrong angle. Alright, I 
overshot. Okay, see, there is a light right there. At this point, it's a wave off. So what I'm going to do is gear up, shift Q, hook up. I could try landing here, but I'm not going to. Flaps up. I'm directly above the runway right now. 24. I don't need to go too far past the carrier. So let's go ahead and make my turn. 400, 500. Got to keep it between 500 and 800. I'm just going to make a nice smooth turn to downwind. All I got to do is keep an eye on my HSI here. When the 24 is at the bottom, I should be good. Okay, too high. A lot of traffic at LAX. Okay, oop. Overshot a little bit. The carry should be right there. There it is. Yeah, like I said, feel free to treat feel free to cheat. And look from your external views, if that helps. Slow down. One thousand feet. Now what I like to do is go past the carrier quite a bit. Not too far though, because with the carrier just a dot, you can never tell if you're completely lined up or not. And normally, if you're doing touch and goes in a pattern, when your runway is right over your shoulder is when you make your turn to base. But in this case, it's a carrier. So, what I did the last time, my turn to final was too shallow. As a result, I overshot. Uh, the angle for the runway so this time I'm gonna make it a lot sharper and I can help myself by going this way some more make sure my 2-4 is right at the bottom of my HSI on the right okay that's about it right there 166 720 that's good right there also uh, a friend of mine told me that let me see here not that not that if I set my radio to 112.0 and make that active, that will bring up an ILS for the carrier, which helps big time. What are we doing about that? All right. So go ahead and make my turn. Okay, I'm almost at the coast. So make a nice smooth turn. Keep my speed at about 155 to 160. Keep my altitude above 500. I'm on the 24 is at the top of my HSI on the right. I should be heading straight towards the carrier. Right here. Okay, where's my carrier? Okay, I lost my carrier. show up on the horizon shortly. There it is. All right. Come off the gas. So now, can I salvage this? I think I can. One launch flaps. Hook down. Gear down. Okay. Yeah, I can salvage this, I think. Gotta come in at an angle, because remember, the runway is a little bit off center. So I'm gonna keep it here. 
and at this point when it's right about to my 10 o'clock turn it to 240 okay full flaps a little bit of gas and then what you want to do is point your reticle right where you want to land like so get some gas and come back that should do it okay that didn't do it gear up hook up flaps up try it again and that's the thing about carrier landings it's not easy it takes practice I came in a little tiny bit too high I think the opposite of zero two zero is uh, zero two four no, two four zero is sixty. So let's keep making my turn. No, oh, way too high. Come off the gas. Here we are right there. Man, look at all that traffic going into LAX. Wow. Okay, at this point I'm way too high. See, really high, but. It's not a problem because I have plenty of time to lower my altitude. So, idle my throttle. So the carrier should be there, right there. now 900 feet that's about right give it a little bit of gas because I'm going to lose some speed when I make my turn this time I'm going to give it a little bit of left rudder make it a coordinated turn I can turn at a steeper angle take a look from the outside make sure I'm clean Okay, there's my 2-4. Alright, there we go. Alright, my speed is a little bit fast. A little bit high. I'm good. Let's do hook down. Gear down. One notch flaps. This is what we look like on the outside. Okay, a little bit high. That's fine. wasn't expecting that. One more notch of flaps. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do some speed brakes here. Okay, and that should do it. And that is as good as they come. All right, so let's take a look from the outside. Back, back, back. Here we are on the carrier, and no, it doesn't do a good job simulating catching the hook. But you know, this is a, that's as good a landing as you're gonna get. All right, so let's go ahead and do a, do a takeoff. To do that, hit Shift Q, hook up, raise one notch flaps, and to do this part, what you want to do, you're going to keep an outside view, or you can go back to the cockpit, doesn't matter. Give it a little bit of gas, and what you're going to do is taxi over to that other catapult to our two o'clock right there. Let's get behind it, plane like so, come up. Okay.
And what you're going to do is put your wheel, your nose wheel, right here up to that thingy right there. Uh, turn, give it a little bit more gas. Okay, and so, and stop. Then look around from this side, and I'm perfectly lined up there. So what you want to do now is kneel, which I think is shift U. There we go. That lowers the bar, and give it a little bit of gas to get your wheel up to this thingy right here. Now, they're not called thingies. Obviously, they have a real name, but I don't know what the hell they are. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of gas. And that takes you right up to the bar. And stop. And then, shift U, give you the kneel. Shift I, hooks you to the catapult. And at this point, I guess you could launch uh, with an external view, but I like to go on the inside. I gotta tell you, whoever did this AI carriers, man, they went through a lot of trouble to make everything realistic. Alright, so, let me go ahead and cut a new track. Alright. One notch flaps uh, were connected to the uh, launch bar. So, what we're gonna do is give it full military power, not afterburner, because if you go to full afterburner, you will blow away this thingy right here. So, let's go back into the cockpit. Full military power, and if you have a SciTech yoke, uh, the, the throttle, the military power is about 80%. Alright, so, any further than that and you get your afterburners. And shift, space, launches the aircraft. So, in 3, 2, 1, shift, space, and off we go. Pull back on the stick. Once you're in the air, gear up, flaps up, go ahead and climb, okay, whoa, not sure what caused that, go ahead and climb to about 2,500 feet, and in this case, since the carrier lesson is done, I'm going to go ahead and brake left, and just go ahead and land at LAX, so let's go ahead and pull up my ATC menu, what the devil, what's happening here? Laps up. What the devil is? Oh, my speed brake is out. Oh, not sure what the hell that was all about. Um, my thumb must have touched the speed brake. But anyway, let's go ahead and is it doing it again? Okay, nearest airport list. We want LAX. Tower, and we want full stop landing. Alright, six right. I don't know which one is six right. There's four runways going east to west. Uh, six right is probably the most outer right runway and there are quite a few planes going in may have to get in line okay hands off the stock uh, hands off the stick there's our carrier so go ahead and say goodbye to the carrier bye Nimitz Okay, seven right. Oh my god, look at all that traffic. So six right. No, it's damn it. Alright. 
Okay, at this point I don't need to hear it. What the f What is this plane doing? Okay. Alright. I don't need to hear any more of that shit. I updated the... Uh, my... Uh, shoot, my girlfriend's running the vacuum cleaner. I updated my... Um, my uh, install of Dino's uh, Dino Catenio's planes with uh, he he did a, a release of an update for the the Goshawk and that might be explaining what the hell is happening here because I don't have Active Skynex running I just have regular fair weather one notch flaps actually coming a little bit fast uh, speed brake. Okay, speed brake off, one notch flaps, gear down, um, let's see here, actually that's seven, this is six. Full flaps. Seven. Damn it. Wrong freaking runway. Damn, I missed that guy. All right. Speed breaks out. All right, they're probably trying to contact me. So here. Six and seven, those runways are pretty close together. It's easy to see how you're going to get them screwed up. Alright, flaps up. And I'll go ahead and turn here. God damn it, yes. And there you have it, folks. That's how you do carrier landings. Um, I'm going to have to test this thing a little bit more. See what the problem is. It's acting kind of weird. But uh, I'm really glad I figured out how to up my bit rate. So I can make better quality videos for you. And... What the fuck was that? What the hell? Okay, stop. Oh, this, this little guy. Jeez. Stupid plane. Anyhow, as I was saying, I'm glad I was able to figure out how to up my bit rate so I can make better quality videos. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I have no idea where the hell I'm going. Uh, fight some guy here, and I will see you next time.